Hello everyone. The Thanksgiving weekend is almost here in just a few days. And traditionally, we're all invited during those days to express our gratefulness for everything we have received to count our blessings, which is great. It's just that it's fairly easy to do so when uh, we're living in Canada, when we are employed, when we have a great family, when you are, when we are like me, a white heterosexual male, it's easy to be grateful. However, when you're living in an area plagued with an armed conflict, when you each morning you don't know how you will feed your family, uh, when your basic human rights are not acknowledged or denied, when you're still grieving the recent loss of a loved one, it's difficult to say, oh, thank you, God, for everything you gave me this year. And it makes me think of the story of Job in the First Testament. Job is introduced as someone who is blameless, upright, fear God, uh, turn away from evil. It's, it's hard to be a better person than Job. And furthermore, he has a beautiful family, he's rich, uh, he got everything. Some would say he got everything he, to be happy. And one day, through a series of events, he lost it all. His property, his source of income, his children, his health. At the end, he's alone with his, and his wife come and said, why do you still persist in your integrity? Curse God and die. Why do you stick with this God that does not reward you anymore? And sometimes we have a similar attitude. We believe that, oh, there's some sort of uh, divine justice. Good things happen to good people and bad things happen to bad people. If you succeed, well, you must have done something good in, during your life to deserve this. And if you, something goes bad, well, it's your fault. That's what we sometimes say. That's what sometimes we hear. But in the same time, we look around us. And that's not our reality. That's not experience. Because we know sweet, lovable, uh, generous um, person that really struggle in life. It seems that they cannot get on. And there's others, and I'm sure you have names in your mind, that seems to lie, to cheat, to do whatever, and they're not caught. They always seems to prevail. And we struggle. He said, how does it work? It must be me. It must be something that I don't know or forgot or refuse to acknowledge. Because there must be some divine justice. Well, the book of Job remind us that maybe God is not responsible for the good thing and the bad things on our lives. As the famous expression says, shit just happens. Sometimes there's no logical reasons. There's no logical explanation. That's just some people call life, biology. When sometimes everything is stacked against you, even before your birth. And there's no reward no punishment for what you do or what you don't necessarily maybe the and and maybe some would say well that's depressing <laughs> what's the point to go to church to believe in god to even try well maybe the good news is through job for example when we hit the rock bottom when we go through very painful and difficult moment, when we're not sure if we can bear it anymore, when we feel that we have lost 
everything we care for. We receive this promise that God will still be there. God will not abandon us. God will not betray us. God will not love us more or less according to the money that we have in our bank account or the fame we have. No. God will be there regardless. And when we feel that life is like a, a boxing match and we feel that we're beat up, like life is mean with us, we receive this promise that God is there in our corner will not abandon us and say, you know, you can come here for a few minutes. You can rest with me. And when you will go back, I will still be there. And you will always be able to come back to find some reconfort, some assurance, some love. And this kind of commitment we receive from God, is for me a great source of thanksgiving. That regardless, success or not, health or not, ability or not, regardless of all those things that is part of our common human experience, God promised us that I will not abandon you. I may not give you whatever you want, but I will be there when you're struggling when you need it, you need me the most. So thank you, God, for being there. And thank you for watching me once again. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stéphane Vermette. And until next time, take care of yourself and bye-bye.